What's up, everybody? Another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest joining us today. We got T, T Davis from the Texans. T, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. I can't complain, are you? Nice, nice. I'm doing great, man. Again, appreciate you taking the time out to do this. You know, for Community Voices, it's something we've been doing every week to give back to the communities and, you know, showing love and really putting our money where our mouth is and really giving back. So thank you again. No problem, man. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. So tell us about the charity uh, you've been working with. Um, so this charity um, is YCAP. So YCAP is like a branch off from YMCA. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to school at U- uh, in Chattanooga, UTC. Um, so it's a program that I've kind of been volunteering while I was playing ball there. Uh, the program is really consists of they get kids um, referred to them through the court system or just um, the surrounding schools. And these kids usually have trouble with their work. Um, you know, kind of behavior problems and everything. So you get the kids in, you kind of mentor them, help them with their school. Um, a lot of the kids um, really don't have that positive uh, male figure or just a positive you know, figure in general. So, you know, you have people around that kind of just you know, mentor and let them know that, um, you know, the things that they are seeing back home is, you know, it's, it's more to that. Um, you know, you feed the kids. Uh, well, I mean, a lot of the kids, that's their last hot meal for that day. Um, when you think about it, that's just insane. Um, and while they're doing that, you know, they learn different um, skill sets. So you have like a wood shop there that they do, um, you know, gardening, gardening, like take the kids on trips, especially during the summer. And some of these kids actually um, box. So I kind of teach some of the kids that the box and as time goes, like some of the kids make it through the program, but still stick around because there's training with um, boxing. Um, they actually have one now for the U.S. Nationals, um, TJ Arnold. He uh, was through the went through the program and now he's um, competing. I talked to Andy to last night and um, he won. So he's going on to the next round. So right now he's like the second rank um, boxer, like I um, think junior national boxer in, in the U.S. So um, he's you. doing well. He's competing and stuff right now still. So I'll probably talk with him. I'm a little later to see how he does tonight. But yeah, man, so it's it's something that's really close to my heart just because um, and some of those kids I saw myself in just growing up and just being from those type of areas. and you know, like growing up, you really don't have people to kind of talk to. And I mean, that was something that I, you know, related to was, you know, trying to talk to someone, but, you know, talking about your problems. If someone can't relate to that, then it's kind of tough to keep sharing and just kind of be open. So just being able to be like someone that they can relate to and just see like, you know, like he he came from where I'm coming from and he's doing this so I can do the same. Absolutely. So how does this organization really affect the community as a whole? Cause now you mentioned a lot of the kids might not have like that one father figure or things in that nature. So how did, how does a charity really impact the community? Um, and it just impacts them just giving them, you know, that outlet to kind of, you know, experiencing things and kind of get away from those, you know, those environments. Um, I mean, yeah. you know, you finish school, you go home. And then if you have your mom, that's like working, like you just there at the house all day, like in I mean, nine times out of 10, you may go find trouble. So it kind of, give them, <laughs> <laughs> it yeah. may give them um, just a, just to kind of somewhere else, almost like similar to like a boys and girls club or something like that, just to kind of get you around like people that care yeah. and, you know, just want the best for you. And, you know, the city of Chattanooga really backs YCAP, um, you know, anything like any you know, programs or any like events that they throw, like the city is like behind them, you know, a hundred percent the football team, you know, usually works really close with them as well. Just, you know, kind of creating that mentorship because um, a lot of the kids, you know, nowadays and just in general, you know, wants to, you know, make it to that level. Like, I want to play college football. I want to be a basketball player. I want to be baseball. Like, so it just kind of give those kids something to kind of look forward to and just say, like, you know, hey, um, like, this, he looks just like me. Um, yeah. And Same background. Same right. Yeah. Just devoting that time. And you'll be amazed, like, just just devoting that time, like, how, um, how much that it impacts them. For sure. So how would you say, like, you know, these – let's say like YMCA programs affected you today? Like how has it impacted your life today as like an adult, as a professional athlete, things of that nature? Um, man, it impacted me a lot just simply because it just is making me realize that, you know, you, you can just devote your time, man. You can just be that positive influence. Like I've always been wondering like, oh, like, you know, how can I do this? How can I do that? And just trying to find something super big when really it's like the small things, it's just coming, coming in and just helping the kid with his homework. Right. Or helping a kid read a book or just, you know, shoot basketball with a kid and just kind of talk to him and see what's going on. And you'll be amazed just like how much that um, 
makes them like makes their day. And also, and a lot of times you may hear stories that you're just like, wow, like, man, like this kid is dealing with so much, like, how is he still going? Yeah. And you know, just hearing stories like that, man, it just, you know, it just drives me even more to kind of, you know, continue to give back to the community, to continue to devote my time and in the long run, maybe be able to do something like that or start something up like that back in my hometown that can kind of give an outlet for kids as well. Absolutely. And then with YPAC, so what would you say is like one of the biggest, I guess, like roadblocks or challenges they face today? Uh, roadblocks, I'll definitely say, um, hmm. I mean, I guess because it's only um, so only so much that they can do uh, yeah. and just so many kids that they can take um, just probably be just like numbers, if anything, mm -hmm. um, or just like, you know, access to you know, a large facility or anything like that. Um, I think that'd be the biggest roadblock if, that I can think of as of like now. OK, OK, cool. Yeah, and it sounds like they're doing amazing work, especially like uh, the boxer you referenced who really came up through those programs and is now, you know, one of the top, you know, junior boxers in the country. So, you know, with community voices, like I mentioned earlier at the start, like it's just really giving back to the community, especially the communities we exist in and serve and yeah. to make a donation to YPAC to really, you know, help them continue doing the amazing work they've been doing. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that's thanks to, you know, people like yourself who are really bringing awareness to the charity organization, the beautiful work they've been doing. So definitely kudos to you and YPAC. I uh, appreciate that, man. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And um, yeah, that's a wrap for the conversation. So I'll let you have like, you know, the last words. Anybody want to shout out? Any, you know, <laughs> uh, man, I'm not really anybody to shout out. Just, um, you know, just appreciate you guys for help. Um, just having me on, um, allowing me to shed some light to YCAP and like what, you know, they do and like things that we were, you know, to do once I'm like, I've been there and everything. And uh, just thanks again. Yeah, of course. The pleasure is ours, man. I don't know, problem. All right, cool. T, thank you for the time. Hey, no problem. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Yeah.